Hello guys. Okay, so me and my sister are planning a murder mystery party. Circus slash carnival thing. So we bought the package. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box below the party that we are doing. My sister <laughs> bought it. Um, I think it's $34. Might, that might be American. I'm not sure. So anyways, so it has all the different things here. Um, so you've got all host instructions. I can go more in depth in a different video on what exactly all this stuff is, but then there's like different, I don't know, there's tons of different things here that we've printed out. I'm gonna make this maybe, hopefully a three-part video series. So I'm gonna have this one here. So us planning it a little bit, I'm gonna start doing all the decorations for it um, and start shopping for that. Then my second video is gonna be my costume and all about that. And the third one is setting it all up. So fingers crossed this goes well. Um, we did one murder mystery party before. It was 1950s themed. It was a ton of fun. So we're gonna try it again. We're not into acting at all, but it's just a fun thing to do. So I just went to our different, we have two different dollar stores in town. So I went to theirs cause I just got off work. Um, and I actually got quite a few stuff, quite a few things. So we are going to go ahead and I'm gonna head home and start working on some of the projects hopefully. Um, hopefully they turn out as I have planned. So for this, I'm making a circus sign that's light up and I couldn't find ping pongs anywhere, ping pong balls. I was, I don't know, I just came up with this idea in my head and so I was hoping it would work out. So I took a piece of foam board, cut it out, and then I drilled holes just so it's nice and neat. Drilled holes into the ping pong eyeball things that I found at the dollar store. Um, so yeah, weird little random eyeballs. <laughs> and then I ended up just taking some spray paint. So I took some red spray paint and just sprayed the entire thing. And then I just found it kind of looked a little bit cheap. So I went over it with some gold spray paint. And then I went over it with some red spray paint again, just to cover everything up. So then this is where I messed up royally. So I ended up cutting out these letters and I think they turned out really cute. But I drilled 20 five holes and there was supposed to be only 20 because of the lights so I put those all in and I ended up realizing that later but we figured out a way <laughs> to come around that but yeah I ended up just putting all these little ping pong eyeball things around it and it turned out quite cute. So this is what it ended up looking like. Um, it didn't turn out as planned at all because I counted, um, I thought the package said 25 lights but it was actually 20 lights so that's what this whole section is um but boom <laughs> so this is what it ended up looking like so i ended up pulling out two lights in the back here um so that it would be a little bit more even for my next project i made a cool little background thing for us to take photos in front of so i had this big huge wooden bamboo stick thing and then I took three tablecloths just from the dollar store and just taped them all together. And now it looks kind of hopefully like the side of a tent for a circus. For my next decoration, I took these little animals from the dollar store and I just spray painted them gold for the top of another project that I was working on. So I'm going to use the elephant for the top of the one project and then the other little animals just for some table decor, I think on the table. <laughs> of course, that's self-explanatory, but whatever. Anyways, I think they turned out pretty cool. I did do a couple coats, um, and uh, I was um, I missed quite a few parts of it just because they would drip a lot, um, even if I did it farther away. I don't know, it's just because of the plastic and I didn't sand them properly or anything because I didn't really care since they were just dollar store items. So then I went ahead to the next part of this project and I found these little this little tin at the dollar store and I'm just sectioning it off with tape and then I'm going to go ahead and paint around it. So I have this stuff called gesso. Um, it's basically just a primer that I'm putting on top of it so I don't have to do so many coats of the paint itself. So I decided to go with yellow, blue, and red um just some pretty basic colors so then i just went over that each of those different um whatever these little triangle thingies are with the different colors i only ended up doing one of blue because i didn't measure it properly but that's okay so i just went over it all um quite a few different coats and then just took the tape off it did need a little bit of cleaning up just because the tape wasn't painter's tape it was just like meat wrapping tape because i couldn't find any painter's tape and then i found it later sorry for the crappy lighting um but i finished this so 
I don't know. It definitely needs some touch-ups. I think I'll just go over it with some nail polish remover, maybe. I don't know. But this is what it's looked like. Isn't that cute? I'm kind of excited about it. So that's it for the video. I am going to be posting my other two videos, like I said. So one's going to be costumes, and one's going to be the food slash setup slash grand reveal of how it all turned out and i'm really excited for it so if you guys want to see that don't forget to subscribe and go check out my other videos while you wait for those videos to come up <laughs> so that's it i already said that bye <laughs>